Hi everyone, my name is Michael Herbert. I'm the Product Manager for Light Panels. And today I'm talking to you about the new firmware revision for the Gemini range, which is firmware E1. We have a new menu and structure, which makes it much easier to get around the Gemini and find what it is you're looking for in a much, more, much quicker, much more efficient way. Whether the, the color modes are now put together in, in one central place, or the DMX settings and DMX selection is all uh, consolidated into, into one area as well. By and large, it just makes it easier to navigate and saves you time when you're configuring your lamps. So the first thing we're going to talk about are the manual modes. So within manual modes, we have CCT, HSI, RGBW, and general modes we have previously, but we get the introduction of XY modes where you can select a particular coordinate, um, as well as the CCT and HSI and CCT and RGBW modes, which allow you to choose a, a particular color point, whether it's with RGB values or HSI values, and then move between that and um, a desired color temperature as well, and, and, uh, and crossfade between. This was previously available, um, and you can currently do it on Gemini's via DMX, but now you have local control of that. Um, we also have the effects mode in there and lead follow. Within ComSelects, you've got all the different ways you want to control your Gemini fixture, whether you just want to leave it on auto detect mode or whether you want to use uh, wired or wireless DMX or any of the Bluetooth modes. Within DMX settings, you have your DMX profiles, which is what we used to have on the home menu for DMX fast select, but they are now located within DMX settings. So all of those are available as a quick reference. Uh, you can set your DMX address here, you can do DMX mode control, your DMX termination, um, and we actually now have the new DMX hold option, which gives you different options um, when you lose DMX signal, where you can get it to stay in the state that it's in, you can get it to power off, or you can get it to fade out. Within wireless settings, you just have your lumen radio setting here, so which whether you want to turn the radio on or off, depending on your usages, whether you're trying to limit the amount of signal frequency in your particular environment, just gives you that control there. And then you have fixture settings, whether you're talking about the display, you can flip the display, change the, the backlight um, intensity or how long you want it to be on for. Fan settings, whether you want to change the CCT mode from the black body mode to the bicolor mode, where you basically would just remove the, uh, the use of the RGB LEDs. Whether you want to change your HSI curve settings or your dimming curve settings as well. And at the end, you have uh, the ability to load and store your, your different software. So you can set your settings on one Gemini, you can load it onto USB, and then you can update it onto another Gemini and pass all those settings directly across. Then you have firmware updates, you have your system information, and then you have system reset. One of the new features that we've introduced based on some feedback is that we found that occasionally people are accidentally brushing up against their Gemini and getting some, uh, the change in the settings unintentionally. So we've introduced a lockout feature. You just push and hold the CCT encoder for two seconds. See the little padlock there. Fixture's completely locked out now. So push and hold again to release, and your functions are available again. So another feature that we've introduced is the blackout button. So you can just quickly push the dim encoder for two seconds, turns the light off, and then you push it again, and the light comes back on. So that was a very, very top level view of the latest revisions in the Gemini series E1 firmware. Uh, for more information, go to lightpanels.com in the link below to find out the full release notes and the full extent of all the new features and improvements we've made.